The Posidonia Oceanica meadows are formations of great importance for biodiversity because of their richness in flora and fauna and for their remarkable influence on the preservation of marine ecosystems. They're also extremely relevant as organic carbon stores since they can accumulate up to 10% of the ocean's carbon footprint each year. These characteristics make the Posidonia Oceanica a key player in the fight against climate change, which is why it's been included in Annex 2 of the Berne Convention as a species of strictly protected flora and as part of several community-oriented directives for its protection. El Bosque Marino de Red Eléctrica, aparte de ser un proyecto con una línea de diversidad clara, que es la regeneración del espacio, tiene una otra pata que sería la de cambio climático, Cambio climático porque estamos en una zona de pradera degradada, entonces lo que estamos evitando es que se, se emita todo el CO2 que tiene esa propia pradera y luego diversidad porque estamos regenerando una zona degradada, entonces volverá otra vez a, a crecer la pradera y todo su ecosistema alrededor. The Posidonia oceanica is a protected species of flora due to its relevance in the fight against climate change. Red Eléctrica's commitment to conserving biological diversity and fighting against climate change, together with our responsibility to avoid, or at least minimize, interactions between our submarine electrical links and the Posidonia Oceanica grasslands led us to undertake an r and project in 2012 that was focused on studying the use of seeds and fragments of the plant in order to generate recovery of the affected grasslands. The project, developed in collaboration with the Mediterranean Institute for Advanced Studies, established two research and planting areas, one in Ibiza and the other in Mallorca. In both locations, harvesting, cultivating and planting, both of seeds and Posidonia fragments, were carried out with excellent results. Based on the conclusions, Red Eléctrica's Marine Forest, a pioneer project across Europe aimed to restore two hectares of Posidonia Oceanica meadow in the Bay of Poyense in Mallorca, has been launched. This project, developed in participation with the Ministry of Environment, Agriculture and Fisheries of the Balearic Government and the Higher Council for Scientific Research, is also committed to environmental education and scientific dissemination. The restoration of degraded Posidonia grasslands is the project's main focus. This is possible thanks to the collaboration of Poyensa Military Aerodrome, who has allowed us to use their facilities in the Bay of Poyensa. Here, the planting, cultivating and monitoring of more than 12,800 fragments and seeds of Posidonia has taken place and has shown encouraging results in the early stages. Es una experiencia única y además es una apuesta de futuro porque lo que se pretende con esta plantación es tener un área experimental de una pradera de Posidonia en recuperación donde dará la oportunidad de estudiar la recuperación de la estructura de la pradera y del funcionamiento, todas las funciones ecológicas y los servicios que la pradera nos proporciona. To evaluate the future success of the plantation and the ecosystem, the project is monitored in the following ways. The method of anchoring and planting is reviewed one month after the planting. From then, annual evaluations will be carried out to measure the survival and development of the transplanted seedlings and cuttings. The monitoring of Posidonia oceanic clones is accompanied by the annual evaluation of the rate of recovery of the ecosystem functionality in the restored zone. The accumulated organic carbon is evaluated, both from the plantation itself and from other sources. Its transformation is calculated to tons of CO2. Another one of the Red Eléctrica's marine forest's goals is environmental education and scientific dissemination which is developed through two channels. First, it provides environmental training in schools, complemented by field visits and the interpretation center of the Classroom of the Sea. Second, it distributes the practical guide for the Posidonia Oceanica planting publication, which illustrates how to replicate the model across the Mediterranean basin. The project of Bosque Marino de Red Eléctrica is en in the policy of sustainability and in the model of sustainability of the company, a través del cual lo que se pretende es aportar un valor, generar un valor compartido con la sociedad donde la compañía desarrolla su actividad. The objective is for the Red Eléctrica's Marine Forest to be open to the entire educational and scientific community and to become a catalyst for environmental education and a living laboratory, guaranteeing a future for other long-term marine ecosystem research. Red 
Elektriker.